And in an exclusive interview with Telemundo's morning show, Un Nuevo Dia, Alicia Machado reacted to Trump's latest attacks. Take a listen. The point here is he's a misogynic guy. He, he's trying to distract me, to, to destroy me again one more time. Joining me now, Dr. Debbie Turner Bell, who was crowned Miss America in 1990. She is now a veterinarian and broadcast journalist. Debbie, thanks for being with us. Now, uh, My pleasure. Donald Trump was a judge when you were competing, yes. right? And yes, he what was sort one of my judges. What sort of interaction did you have with him? What can you tell us about that? Well, of course, there was no interaction with any of the judges as I was competing. However, there's a tradition at the Miss America pageant at that time that the whatever hotel the contestant who won yeah. was staying in, she would get upgraded to what was called a high roller suite. Okay. I was staying in a Trump hotel. And when he found that out, he uh, volunteered to escort me and my family and the friends that were with me to my high roller suite. And he was very lovely. He was very gracious. He asked if there was anything that I wanted in my youthful ignorance, what I asked for was pizza because I was starving at the time. And he called, good. A, yeah, he called a friend who and got him out of bed and asked him to make a pizza from one of the pizzerias that was there. So that was my interaction with him. His commentary about weight uh, and repeatedly doing so, and now it's really part of the campaign, at least as of today, as we, we start a new month here. What's your perspective on the way he is reacting to? Well, her, her body. There's a long list of emotions that I feel. And first of all, let me just say it's frustrating. And I'm a little exasperated that in 2016, this is what we're talking about as it relates to women and their value in the society. It seemed as if, if, as if we'd moved forward because we saw women of all ilk, all sizes, all colors, in all spectrums of our industry, yeah. in broadcast yep. news, in mm -hmm. Hollywood. We saw round women, and that was great. And it seems like this whole kerfluffle has uh, drug us us back 20 years in the conversation about our standards for women and our narrow view of beauty. Now, I just want to make this point, Richard. It is a, a dichotomy and a bit of a paradox that in this historic election, where for the first time a woman is the uh, candidate for a major political right. party and could possibly become History president, making, right? yes, that this is the conversation that we've had all year long about uh, a woman's size that was in a pageant. It's ridiculous. What do you want to say to Donald Trump? Well, I don't know that I have anything to say to Donald Trump. This is what I have to say to women, to young girls specifically, who are watching this play out. Uh, we are not a number on the scale. We are not a number of fat cells in our hips, thighs, or anywhere else, nor should we be reduced to that. And our leaders should reflect who we are and our value in this society. So what it, it is my hope that as young girls, and I have a six-year-old daughter that I'm raising in this society, as they begin to form their identity, they will understand that, and they'll make civic choices choices based on people that value them, their intellect, their value to uh, society, what they bring in their talent, uh, and not the size on, uh, and the scale and the size of the dress that they wear. Do you think Secretary Clinton should respond in any way that she hasn't already? I, you know, I'm not here to give political advice okay. to either one of them. Uh, I understand why she did what she did. She's trying to win a presidential election, and she's getting out information that I frankly think is valuable information. As a woman, I want to know how the candidates look at me. As an African American. I want to know how they see me. I never grew up in a neighborhood where there were killings and gangs going on, and most of my friends didn't either. And so I need a candidate that knows that there are many nuances in the different demographic groups in our society. So this is good information for voters to use in making their decisions. So great to have you. I appreciate you coming in on Saturday to give us your perspective on my what's pleasure. been happening. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much.